everybody, welcome to another Color Your World. Well, guess what? We are painting something that I think you all can relate to in a very, very good game. And that's Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. Today we're going to be doing the humans, and I think you'll really enjoy this. Just sit back. It's an easy way to do the, the miniatures, and I really try to give you a blueprint so you can paint this beautiful game. Because if you're playing this game, then you know that it is just screams to be painted. Now, we're going to cover the knights and the, pe uh, the peasants right now, because they're the most in the box there. So, uh, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way how to do it. Without further ado, and me blabbling, let's go down the table and check it out. Now, as you can see here, we have um, Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. Yes. Um, <laughs> I went blank there for a minute. Now, we're going to start with the human faction here. And um, as you can see, I primed the night white because we're going to have more brighter colors that we're going to have to work with him. And the peasant we primed him in a black because we're going to be putting browns and things like that and working that into the system here so uh, i'm going to show you how to do these two guys because these are the most guys that you're going to see out of the human faction so we're going to break it down into factions so we're going to concentrate on these two guys and then we'll move on to another faction and another faction and another faction and show you the easiest way to get these guys painted so without further ado why don't we get started and get this all done so you guys know how to do this. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to use some XV88. I always like this color because it's really kind of a dullish type of brown. And what it does is it just fits perfectly for what we're trying to attempt here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this as his pants. And I think that works the best. Now don't worry about getting on the boots or dropping the figure like I just did. All you want to do is just get yourself a nice coat of this on here and underneath. And we're not worried about messing anything up because we're going to paint over all that area. The other thing that you could do here is you could paint this satchel uh, that same color just to break up the browns a bit. So usually that's what i'm going to do i'm going to paint this satchel the same thing because we're going to we're going to we're going to put a wash over it and it's going to really bring things out so i'm going to finish this up and then we're going to come right back and we'll show you exactly what we're going to do next now the hardest part about this figure is because you have it black i'm going to take some averland sunset and what i want to do is i i want to get that um overcoat of his or or shirt basically and it's going to take a few coats now as you can see i already kind of started putting one coat on here and it's not going to look very good to begin with and you just kind of got to bear with it and not panic because we don't expect this to look very good until we start highlighting because that's where it's all going to come together and you just want to take your time and it's going to probably take a few coats, but that's okay. As you can see, it doesn't look good going on the first coat, but that's okay also. You want to work in here a little bit, and you want to make sure that you kind of try to get as much of that shirt as you can. Because that is going to be a very big selling point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of coats on here. As you can see, I'm just, I got it nice and watered down. So it goes on nice and thin, so we don't lose any of the detail. And all we want to do is just kind of work it in there. We're not worried about hitting anything else. It's going to take a couple coats, and it's going to be a little frustrating. But the best thing about it is you're going to be, you know, I think you got like 10 or 15 or 20 of these. You're going to go through, and you're going to machine them. So you're going to put all the shirts on one coat. And then when you're going to come back, you're going to do another coat. And then by then they'll all be dry and you'll just keep working at the different sections that I'm going to show you here. And that's how you're going to get through all this. Okay, I accidentally ran the camera, but you missed me putting the flesh in. <laughs> all it is is Kessel of flesh. You're just going to hit all the flesh areas, his arms and so forth and so on. You see we got that in there. The next thing we want to do is we want to take a Morfang Brown, which is a nice dark brown. And yeah, you got it. You got it. We are going to kind of... We're going to get this 
this pitchfork ready because you know if he's going to fight he's got to have a pitchfork and we're going to go around the belt area too um we're going to do the boots as you can see here that, see that's going to remember i told you not to worry not to worry about about as far as uh getting any extra paint where it didn't belong so all we're going to do is just we're going to work that right in there and we're going to get his boots all set we're going to get his belt line set i'm going to finish this up and then we're going to come back Now, right now, we're going to take some lead belcher, and what we're going to do is, yeah, you guessed it, it's pitchfork time. So, we want to get that pitchfork in there, and we want to get some color into that. As you can see, just keeping it nice and simple right now, and just getting our base colors. That's all we're trying to do, get our base colors in there. All right. We're going to let that dry and then we'll come back. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here, just to save a little time, I already started it, is we're going to take some Lauren Forest. And that's kind of like a light green. But in the picture, it looks like he has a nice, nice little light green satchel. So all I'm going to do here, and we're going to bring him up so we don't fade him out, is we are going to put a couple coats of this on here because it's going to be a little tough to go over to black but that's okay because it's easier to just go over with nice light coats and and really bring that out so all I'm doing is just kind of he's got a little patch here so I'm, I'm kind of tickling that patch a little bit with a little little, little Lauren Forest and then we want to make sure that we get the satchel real good and then when we come back, guess what? We are going to highlight this guy. And it's going to be time to darken him up and bring him back out. And all those other fun things that we like to do to really make the model look good. So, we'll be back. Okay, now we're just going to take some Agrath Earthshade. And this is where we're really going to try to bring this guy out a bit. And all we're going to do is, I'm using a smaller brush. And I'm really just taking the wash and really being I'm, I'm 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 taking making sure that i control the wash meaning that i'm not making sure that it pulls up anywhere like around this neck there but i want to take and i want to move it and i, I want to move it around enough where it it really just kind of it gives that extra dimension see how that it goes into his clothing now and it works and we can go over this pitchfork and we want to go over his pants and I want to turn it around and I really want to get that satchel I want to get the backpack I want to get his flesh I want to make sure that I get all those areas so they all stand out perfectly and that's all I want to do and I'm just gonna work this in here I'm working into his pants into his boots a little bit we're gonna come up the other side of this pitchfork this pitchfork we can add another wash to. I think a new oil would work well there. And then we're just going to come back over. And we, we want to really dig out the highlights here. Alright. Now I, I, I know you got like 20 of these and so forth and so on. But just a little bit of wash. I mean they, they don't have to look perfect. There's not a ton of detail to these guys. But there's enough where... If you take your time, you can really dig it out. And I think that's the most important thing. And, and you can see where it's all working into his face. I want to pull that away from his neck, work it down into his, his, uh, his shirt there. There we go. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry. And then we'll come back and we'll start... We'll st We'll just very quickly put a couple of highlights on it, bring this out a little bit, and then, you know, you mow through all 20 of these, and believe me, you're off and ready to start playing the game. Just make sure that, you know, you take your time moving the wash around. And you'll see how yeah, this we ends We almost up got our work. peasant where we want to. We're going to take some Avalon Sunset, what we originally painted over our man here, 
And all we want to do is just take and go over a little bit lightly over some of these areas. And not too heavy, but we just kind of want to make it to stand out a little bit. After all, I know he's dirty, but we don't have to have the dirtiest of peasants, right? And you just kind of want to just highlight. And you don't want to take away all, all the things that the wash created. But what you want to do is really just have that color kind of sit up a little bit. And take your brush and really work it in there. And pretty much, that's as easy as that. You got yourself a peasant, which is just perfectly fine for what you want to do. And uh, what you want to put on in the game. So, let's finish up our night. Now, I know this isn't going to look like much on the fly here. But, sometimes you got to make a decision. And I decided to take some Cal Calendor Sky. Even though the picture is a little bit different, I wanted, to, I wanted to do the cloak in that. And I want to try to save this white. Because um, I want to try to stay as true to the picture. But I kind of want to vary away from it. I'm going to use some um, gray here, and I and I decided to just kind of test it and on one of the figures. Now remember, when you're painting this, you're going to go through this pretty good. So uh, Mechanicus Standard Gray is going to be the in-between here, and then we're going to kind of try to work everything with some golds and some armor, and really make that shine. So just bear with me. It doesn't look like much right now, but you'll see as we get going here how it's all going to come together hopefully now we want to kind of start working on some of our metallics but most of all we want to work on the shield and i'm taking um it's called a candor blue uh, i hope it doesn't lose focus here but um again i'm trying to learn the new camera and all i want to do is i want to get a nice coat in here i'm not worried about hitting too much I'm not worried about hitting the upper area here. All I want to do, I'm, I'm trying not to hit that crown as much as I can. I'm, not, I'm trying to keep it within the lines, but I know that's just not going to happen right away because we're going to outline this whole thing and you're going to see how we're going to go about doing it. And all I want to do is get in between here because that's going to help us a bit in a little bit. And we're just going to keep going. So I'm going to I'm going to fill this in as much as I can, and then we're going to come back. Next here, it's just it's retribution armor. I mean, it's as simple as it can get. You like to take some of that retribution armor, and what you're going to do, if you already noticed, I went over the boots because uh, I saw in the picture the boots were gold, so I kind of went with that. And and forgive my causing the unfocus but you know all you're going to want to do here and you're just trying to be as close as you can because you're going to have to touch this up a wash is really going to sell this i mean right now this looks like garbage to me but i'm telling you right now if you just stick with me you'll see where it all kind of comes together um i actually made a little mistake right in there but i can fix that soon enough and i'm going to fix a few other things here I want to make sure I get the other side there. I'm going to finish this up, and then when we come back, you'll see exactly how this is going to start to really start to come together as we start to add some lead belcher in there and, and breaking up some of this monotonous um, feel to it and, and washed out feel. So uh, we'll be back. I'm going to finish up uh, the lead belcher, and then uh, we'll come right back, and we're going to show you how we're going to tie this all together. All right, next, we want to take some morphine, morphine brown, morphine brown, there we go. And we just want to do the saber here. And I want to do his belt as well, all right? So I'm really trying to be very careful with this, not to mess it all up. White is such a hard color to paint over, by the way. Um, you know, everybody thinks, oh, well, black, because you can't bring out the color. No, black is so much easier to work out because you almost wash out the color with white sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna come right back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this all 
all together first of all we're gonna next color we're gonna be putting in there is our lead belcher so that's a very important uh, paint that we're gonna put in here so uh, like I said it doesn't look like anything but just give me some time here and we will show you how we're gonna make this shine and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some lead belcher and this is where it's gonna to start to really kinda of shine here a little bit because we're really gonna bring this this uh, helmet out I already did the sword just to save time and I'm just showing you that you gotta go over you especially over white you know you almost wish that you kinda of, kinda of, uh, um, prime this black but I wanted to really have that that uh, try to take some of the painting out by by leaving the white um, and not having to paint black over white and so it was a, a tough choice but it's one I had to make so now we're just getting this helmet all squared away I'm gonna finish up touching up uh, some things here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you because we're gonna start building this character right out now with the night here, we want to take some Agrath Earthshade, just like we did with the, you saw the peasant towards the end there. But we want to be careful here. I want to go over, I want to go over the, um, as you can see, I just kind of want to go over this area here, but I don't want to touch the white. No. And you're probably saying, why Rob? The white doesn't look right. Don't worry. We're just going to hit the gold areas. And we're going to have, we're going to go over some of the blue. But the whole point is just to kind of try to avoid hitting the white at all. And you've got to be very controlled. You can go over the blue and so forth and so on, which that's exactly what I plan on doing here. And just getting a nice amount here because that's going to bring out some of those shadows I want to bring out. And you're going to see how we're going to lighten this very quickly and I want to make sure that I I get the the gold here because that's really important because that's really going to the Agrath Earthshade is really going to help that sit up but I do not want to hit that white whatsoever I can go over the brown here a little bit I want to get in the boots I want to be very 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 careful now if I get it on here don't worry about it there's a way to get around it there's no doubt about that. There's a way to get around everything, trust me. And we see how that starts to sit in there and darken up that. That's exactly what I want to do. And I want to come in here a little bit. But I don't have to come in here as much as you think I do. All right, we're going to work that into there a little bit. Oh, this grass is coming up a little bit. See, I just got to be a little careful. And I don't, I want to make sure. It's, I'm very careful where it pools. All right, and I want to get underneath there very carefully. All right, well now we're going to just let that sit for a little bit, and then we're going to come back with another different color wash and go over that. All right, this is where business picks up a little bit, and we got to be very controlled about this because right now we're going to take some new oil. Now, you guys all have seen me use it before, and we're just going to go over this metallic stuff and we are going to work this that's right into all the white areas now look what that's doing right there all right going over the belt that's giving what do we call that we call that depth exactly and that's what we want and we're gonna go over the weapon here now we can go over some of these other areas and not worry too much about it like I, I want to get some in there and I want to work a little right around there I want to definitely get it in between here and really work it in here because that is going to give me the shadows that I'm looking for okay now all of a sudden this this night has depth and what do I always tell you all the time? It's all—it's not so much the paint job that you do 
as much as the illusion you can create all right and that's all we're trying to do we're really just trying to get these guys to really sit up a bit right in the back there I really want that to really kind of darken up and now all of a sudden our man here has yep yeah, you got it he's got that depth that we were looking for and we want to get that in there you can even go over that if you wanted to if you were feeling froggy enough you know and just making sure that we get underneath so if anybody ever picks it up and looks underneath and go oh whoa where's all that area that you were working on and work it around and boom it doesn't have to be so thick on there but really want that night to kind of set up like you see right right there all right and I think that looks pretty good so I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back we're gonna do a couple things to kind of lighten it up lighten up the mood a little bit and uh, give it a little bit more shine but we'll be back to do that and as soon as it dries which will take probably about 30 minutes so you want to make sure that you do all your miniatures so what I got here is I have some racked white and all I want to do is I'm, I'm taking a lot of it off of my off of my brush but just leaving enough on and all I want to do is kind of just easy hit the real high spots but I want to hit this so lightly because I don't want to lose all that detail I just I just put in there with that with that wash and I'm gonna come around the edge here and then I want to come especially right in here I really want that's gonna really help me sell this model is by just working it in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up and then we'll come back with our finally, final two dry brushes that we want to do to really make this guy come, come stand out. Next thing we want to do is we want to take some Hoth Blue. Hoth Blue. Okay, however you want to say it. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take this and we're going to... I already started this, but all I want to do is just very lightly kind of work it in there work it along the chest here around the neck easy and then come back into here now all of a sudden all of a sudden this has a little bit of depth and that's all we're looking for is to bring out a little bit of death depth <laughs> not death well that might happen too and that's what's going to help us really bring this out and that's all we're trying to do all right, we've got two two more dry brushes to do, do on this guy, and he's going to be right where we want to do. So let's get right to them, and I'm going to show you what's next. All right, you guys see me use it a million times. Necron Compound, one of my favorite dry brush dries. It just goes over so well, especially after I darken everything up, and all I want to do is just lightly bring some life to this metal and especially right here his head oh look at that look at that now all of a sudden we have that nice metallic look see how that see how that could just just sells that helmet now all of a sudden he's looking a little fierce not looking as nasty as I had him and we're starting to get something out of him now I want to do the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this area and then we're going to come back and we're going to come with our final wash so stay tuned all right now we're going to take some Sigma right and what that is is just another dry that's that's goes over the gold and it really helps the gold stand out and if you look here look at that look how it starts to oh, there we go it just comes in there and it really makes it stand up you want to hit the edge of the shield here you want to hit their boots a little bit you want to hit the edge of the sword and like i said i'm i'm, I'm probably overdoing it i mean these guys are going to die horribly anyways right depending on who they're fighting 
or who you're for and we're just gonna come over here and we're just gonna bring that metal uh, that, that that metallic feel to it and there you go I mean I, I, I think that's pretty decent and that's all you can ask for for these guys is a pretty decent thing let's take a, a shot of the two and then uh, we'll see what you guys think and there you go I mean just a real simple job that's all you're looking to do keep it simple and uh, you know you don't have to go crazy but uh, I think they look pretty decent and then when you see the rest of them all on the battlefield I think they'll really shine for you and it's just such a simple easy way to do things the white's a little tough for the Knights but hey you can get through it hey without further ado I hope you guys enjoyed this so there you have it, a really good blueprint on how to do those two figures. Nothing complicated, nothing over the top, a nice beginner type of paint job. Anybody can do it. I really suggest you give it a shot because it's really going to bring out uh, the beauty in that game. And that game is a beautiful game and I think you will really enjoy it. So until the next time we meet when, who knows what the heck we're going to be painting. It's your old pal Rob. And for everybody at BGG here, we'll see you soon.